Hi everybody, welcome back to Service Book. So before going to the videos, let me thank you all for the support for the previous videos. And uh, still I request all of you to subscribe my channel and share it with your friends. Today's topic is Central Government Health Scheme or CGHS. The highlights of this video is what is Central Government Health Scheme and what are the systems of medicine available under CGHS scheme who are entitled for the same and which cities you have CGSS operative and what is the definition of family as a dependent for CGHS scheme and what is the procedure to register for CGHS and what are the facilities available under this scheme and the fee for the CGHS. Uh, CGHS or Central Government Health Scheme was introduced in 1954 uh, for providing comprehensive medical facility to the central government employees also some other categories including the pen central government pensioners uh, it started at new delhi and now it is extended up to 74 cities within india the central government employee who is residing within 5 kilometers of the cghs health centers are eligible for the same if a central government office is situated within the radius of 5 kilometers of CGHS and they are compulsory to uh, take CGHS card. Now what are the systems of medicine CGHS is providing? So all the allopathic homeopathic medicinal facility are available. In addition to that Indian systems of medicine including Ayurveda, Yunani, Siddha and Yoga is also comes under CGHS facilities. So it all together known as Ayush, Ay allopathy, Ayurveda, Yoga, Yunani, Siddha and Homeopathy. Now let us see who all are entitled for CGSS facility. All the central government employees and their dependent family members residing in the CGHS covered area. Also the central government pensioners and their eligible family members getting pension from central civil estimates. Sitting and ex-members of parliament, ex-governor and lieutenant governors, freedom fighters, ex-vice presidents, sitting and ex-judges of Supreme Court and High Court, employees and pensioners of certain autonomous organizations in Delhi, journalists accredited with PIB, Delhi police personnel posted in Delhi, railway board employees, civilian employees of defense paid from defense service estimates are eligible for the uh, CGHS facility provided there is a CGHS center within 5 kilometers radius of their office. Now let us see where are the uh, CGHS centers are presently operative. Around 74 cities are now with CGHS uh, operative CGHS centers and newly added cities are Kannur, Cochin and Kodikod of Kerala. The complete list of 74 cities are shown here. As we discussed the CGHS facility is meant for the central government employees or concerned um, dependents of the employee. Then who is included in the term family? Um, if it's husband or wife, the other spouse is definitely a dependent of the employee. And other dependents are parents, sisters, widow sisters, widow daughters, minor brothers, minor sister, children and stepchildren who all are wholly depend on the government servant and normally residing with the government servant. And also include dependent, divorced or separated daughters. Uh, then the term dependency means the income from all sources including pension and uh, equivalent should be less than 3500 plus the amount of DA on basic pension per month. Then how to get this uh, pen, uh, registration in CGHS? So there are two cases. One is pensioners. So they can get CGHS card made from the office of AD or JD of the city. And even they can download the forms from CGHS web website uh, and can be submitted. And in case of serving employees, they can uh, fill the prescribed form uh, which en enclosing the photos of eligible family members as we discussed uh, previously uh, and they can submit in the concerned department and uh, the director of CGHS of the city uh, will prepare the card 
and the printout of issue will be issued immediately that could also be used instead of the uh, plastic cards another thing regarding the cghs facility is about uh, its cost how do we meet the expense of this treatment so it is not exactly free of cost uh, even if it's a government employee or pensioner they have to contribute as per their salary or pension so uh, as per their central government employees level in which the employee is they have to contribute uh, a certain amount towards the cghs fund every month the detailed chart is given here and uh, pensioners who want to avail this facility can either make contribution um, yearly basis or they can give they can pay uh, a lifelong membership fee to the additional director of cghs of the city now what are the facilities available under cghs though in any opd treatment uh, is available at all wc's that is wellness centers including issue of medicines and specialist consultation at polyclinic or government hospitals and at cghs empaneled hospitals after referral by cghs then opd or indoor treatment at government and empaneled hospitals then investigations at at government and empaneled diagnostic centers cashless facility cashless facility is also available for treatment in empaneled hospitals and diagnostic centers for pensioners and other identified beneficiaries then the reimbursement of expenses for treatment at availed at government or private hospitals under emergency and specific treatment advised by the government specialist uh, will also be um, covered under cghs scheme and uh, reimbursement of expenses incurred for purchase of hearing aid appliances etc uh, after prior, getting prior sanction is also uh, comes under cghs scheme then family welfare maternity child health services are also included in this medical consultation and dispensing of medicines in uh, ayurveda homeopathy unani and siddha system of medicines also comes under this scheme.